Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Pavin. I'm an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. We are on episode 15 of Haikyuu Revival. Um, we are dealing with a bit of adversity today. As you can tell, I'm in a new location. I am on the road for a tournament. Um, and the country I'm in doesn't love Crunchyroll. So we're back to Netflix for just one episode. I'm sorry. Um, and also we got a guy mowing the lawn outside. So you know what? It is what it is. I apologize, but here I am. I wanted to watch episode 15 with you. So we're going to try our best to make it happen. Episode 14. Okay. We got the draw for the inter high tournament. Very exciting. And we got to see how everybody's dealing with preparing for the game. Um, everybody had different strategies and ways to prepare, which I thought was so cool to show everybody's individuality. And then my girl Kyoko, the like ultimate act of team, washed the sign that said fly. Everybody got emotional, started crying, me included. Um, but it really made the team like feel ready and extra motivated to take on the other school. So pretty sure we're going to see the inter high tournament today. And you know what? Hopefully I get to meet some new characters. I am ready. I'm going to like try to remember all the names, say them right. Who knows what's going to happen, but here we go. Netflix version season one, episode 15 revival right now. All right, here we go. I feel like everybody in the show wears A6 running shoes. Am I right? Volleyball shoes. I mean, that's how I kind of envisioned it to go, but... Kyoko stepped up big time. Okay, I mean, I think that Asahi's feelings are completely valid and normal. It's like, you always think that you have forever. Like when you're a first year, you seem like you feel like you have so much time and then it goes by so fast. And then all of a sudden you're just like, oh my gosh, this is my last preseason. This is my last like playoff series. This is my last tournament. And like, it is emotional. So I kind of identify with Asahi here, like wanting to talk about it with the other third years. Like, I think that's totally normal. What? I think he's always nice. あらすのってどんなやつらかなあんまりでかいのいないといいな大丈夫だって最近は大したことないって話じゃんもう白鳥さんの一人出しだろいや今年は青葉城さんがやばいらしいよ及川が3年になってから頭一つ抜けてるって
、えー、ブロック入んなくてよかったえー、っとあそこのブロックは通り通りのカラスモじゃねちょっと前まで強かったとこじゃんああちょっと前まではね今なんかねダッサい匂いがついてんだよ<笑>どんな確か落ちた強豪飛べないカラスおやおやすなおいやばいって飛べないなんですって Tanaka is about to <笑> kick some butt <笑>すみませんあいえすぐ絡まない No, no, it is the most awkward thing in the world when you are like, like walking somewhere, you happen to be somewhere and you can like hear people talking about you. Like, what are you supposed to do? Just like let it go. I would totally have done the same thing that Tanaka did. Those people, those guys are like talking about the team. Of course, I would want to defend the team too. <sighs> But you know, I mean like. Nobody really knows if they're any good. I mean, they probably deserve those comments. They haven't been doing well, but like, I got Tanaka's back on that one. I love all the crossbody messenger bags. Ooh, is he famous? <laughs> What? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. That is too good. <laughs> okay, first of all, see, I said back when we first met him, he looks really old. He clearly looks old to everybody. They all think he's like an adult. But like, he is the cutest, sweetest guy, and he's so like. Nice and like he has these, this like crazy reputation. You know what? I think it's the ponytail. The ponytail, the little soul patch, like facial hair he's got going on. People just like think that he's crazy, wild. His image, he's definitely getting the desired effect. But like, wow, he, his personality is definitely the opposite. I think it's so funny that people think that he's some kind of like. Tough, crazy guy. <laughs> I mean, no, if anybody on the team is wild, it's Noya. Or Tanaka. In different,、mm, different ways. <laughs> oh, they're like demons. <laughs> I mean, I think Kyoko's a babe, but like, are these guys just like extra girl crazy because they never see girls, or is Kyoko like actually a babe? You know what? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Let me know. Now I have the energy for another day. <laughs> No. He's just happy to be there right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's such a cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Don't be embarrassing. Is he sniffing the air? Oh my god. 
大会って感じすんだよ。わかる。I love that there are rumors about everyone. So, you know what? It's clear. The Karasuno players have a reputation. Individually, they all have a reputation of being really good players. So, these guys better not underestimate them because everybody knows who they are. And once they get it together and can figure out how to work together, watch out. This is the. Oh. That guy's terrifying. I'm sorry. Do you talk? I don't like this. Does anybody see that drip of sweat down Asahi's cheek? Okay, he is trying to hold it together. That guy is terrifying. He is trying really hard to hold it together, but that drop of sweat, he is probably peeing his pants. Just, just a guess. Is everybody's, does every team have a player that's like super good looking, but also talks like he's too cool, like that guy? Also, the guy who was just grunting and not talking, where are his eyebrows? And I know, I know you guys, you're looking at me thinking, you don't have eyebrows either. Let me tell you something, I do, okay? There's a lot of eyebrow hairs here, all right? My, they're just blonde. So I have eyebrows. I fill them in when I need to, but I do have eyebrows. So don't tell me that I'm like that guy because that guy is very scary and legitimately doesn't have eyebrows. Okay, what is his deal? Why doesn't he talk? That was weird. Um, so I don't like that. And he scared my boy Asahi, <laughs> I think. Ugh. I'm very passionate. Oh, yes, yeah, see? <laughs> he has the cold sweats. Daichi is such a sweetie. Even though he's intimidating, he is the best. Oh. I just love him too much. I love him. Good recovery there, Ikijiri. I know that sounded awful. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mishimiya needs to really whip these girls into shape. They need to believe they can win. Yeah. やるべきことがあったかもしれない。いえいえ、今はそんな。でももうそうなの関係ない。あと45分で試合開始の笛が鳴る。今私たちができるのはウォーミングアップをしっかりやって最後までせいっぱい戦うことそして勝とうよ。
love that. Yeah. See, Daichi's inspiring everybody. That's why he's just so great. Best captain. <笑>あ、<laughs> scarier than a roller coaster, scarier than the thing coming out of the TV. Kageyama. <laughs> Leave it to Noya to just say it as it is. Oh. No, they're not ready. Hinata is having a meltdown. Just now realized that Kageyama is the scariest thing he's ever experienced in his life. Asahi is getting ripped apart by Noya, who has no empathy for his former situation whatsoever. Although, I do think it's cool that Hinata looks up to Asahi so much, being the ace and being so good, that for Asahi to be vulnerable like that and like help him out and be like, I get ner I've gotten nervous too, this is how I overcame it. That is some real teammate stuff there. I love it. Noya needs to just calm down for a second, but the rest of that, he not a needed bat. They have to win, right? This, it would be a very short season if they lost the first game. But Hinata has always wanted to play in a big stadium, so this is a very good start. I have actually played in a gym that looks very similar to that at a Japanese university for a little training camp. See? He's excited! It's so big! Oh my gosh, they need that sign. Just don't, I hope they don't cry. I hope they just use it as motivation. Oh, is this Oikawa's team? Mm, no, he's Seijo. Is it right? No. Yeah, I see it is Oikawa's team. Whew. Is he flirting with the girls? You guys, I know these characters too well. Called it. He's distracted. No. Mm -mm. Fabulous. He deserved that. I don't even feel bad. Oh my god, I forgot about Onion Head. Oh, too good. 
チビちゃん元気に変人コンビやってる大王様チビだ痛いよイワちゃん I really love that his team doesn't really put up with him. He's just like so annoying. Yeah, they're way better, so watch out. I'm getting really fired up. That everybody is underestimating them. Hundred percent agree. Yes. Oh my gosh, their first real game! I really hope it goes well. Whew, I've been holding my breath that whole time. That was intense. I actually was holding my breath and almost passed out. One game at a time, please. <laughs> みんなは強いです。ああ。強いです。飛べないカラスがまた飛ぶところ。会場中に見せてあげましょう。うわ。投げた。メーテル来た。相変わらず今回も言われてるもんな。あの不名誉な人形。落ちた強豪飛べないカ
Block him. Come on. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Nice dig, Noya. Back row attack, baby. Practice this. Oh, you're in the front. Okay, it's fine. <gasps> he just OT'd a triple block. No. No. Who cares what people say? People are going to say terrible things all the time. You just got, got to do you. Come on, dude. He does look old. It's fine. But OT, going back to what I said, means over the top. And if you hit over the top of a block, you can't stop that. The block is there to put up a wall. If you're going over the wall, it's, what are you going to do? But our little Asahi is so sensitive. He just, he needs to brush it off. People are jerks sometimes. No matter what you do, people are going to have good things to say, bad things to say. You have to just like be true to you. So I hope that he can shake off those comments and keep being a badass. Nice dig. Are they going to run that connection? Yes, come on. Everybody in the gym stopped to see that. Oh yes, this. Goosebumps. That scene with Hinata landing from his jump and then the feather floating. Goosebumps. That is beautiful. Okay, I thought they were gonna run Hinata at the start because we always talk about running the middle first, but what they did does make sense. It is important to get your like older big guys going too. So Tanaka, Asahi, to get them involved early. I understand why they did that. Um, I also really, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, understand the Tanaka and Noya yelling across the net. I'm not proud of it. I do the same thing sometimes. It's very hard to control your emotions when you're super fired up and you just want to like scream at the other team. Not always the best look, but sometimes the competitive nature just takes over. So <laughs> I, uh, I felt that deeply. Okay. That was very exciting. Like I said, that scene at the end with Hinata dropping and then it was just like a freeze frame. Oh, yes, I needed that. I hope this game continues. I don't know if this is just like, okay, we're dominating you, game over. We're gonna take on like eyebrow, no eyebrow guy, um, Date Tech. I think that's what it is, but regardless, I am here for this. This tournament is like giving me life. And I, again, feel like I am watching my kids play and they're so like, I'm so proud of them, but they defended themselves walking in with all the people like saying stuff, like everybody has assumptions being made about them. So I'm so curious to see how they respond to this, how Asahi responds to the pressure and those words. Um, it's clear that Noya is in the zone and so is Tanaka. So. Oh, there's so much going on and so much to look forward to. I am pumped 
for the next episode to see how our boys do. And yeah, leave me comments. I'm, I asked some weird things. My pronunciation was off, um, I know. But hit me up in the comments. Love you guys. You always give me some great insights. And I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel so we can keep hanging out, watching Haikyuu, and just like being fans over all these great players and people. Um, so thank you so much. Stay tuned for next time when we go through episode 16. Thanks.